the gift of faith now the gift of faith is a different from the uh, the uh, saving faith the grace faith to get saved we are all saved by faith by grace through faith and so um, there we have one faith where we come to the faith and the knowledge of the son of god we become uh, we become christians we become believers uh, but that is saving faith but i'm not going to talk about that right now i'm going to talk about faith to do the impossible when something comes in our lives and it's an impossible task that's when uh, god starts doing and showing us that this is a, also a gift this is also an energy that the holy spirit gives now when we work with the holy spirit what happens is the more longer we spend with the holy spirit in prayer and in ministry and by trial and error the more we get to know the holy spirit now, i'll give an example now i am married to my wife now 20 22 years we are together 21 years married now 22 years ago when i first met her when i used to call her by phone many times i didn't recognize her voice many times i would look at her and i would say like i would i would uh, phone and i would she would be on the phone and she would say hello and i would say who is this because i did not recognize her voice because i just met her i just got to know her i was just friendly with her so in the same way the holy spirit when we first start our relationship with the holy spirit uh, it is very difficult uh, to recognize his voice and is it my voice is it the voice of the world is it the voice of the enemy uh, is it just sim- simply a creative idea of mine but the more you spend time with the holy spirit like i did with my wife now the moment she i call or if she's talking uh, in any part of the house i immediately recognize from all the other voices i can recognize the voice of my wife in the same way when it comes to the holy spirit we need to remember that the holy spirit's voice is perfect but we need some time to get used to his voice we need some time to get to know him to recognize his voice like for me now i can very easily recognize his voice you know it's been 30 years since i was baptized in the holy spirit and was praying in tongues so for me i spend a lot of time with the holy spirit i continue to spend time with the holy spirit so now his voice is more recognizable to me than when i first got saved that when i first accepted jesus christ so hearing god's voice or hearing the voice of the holy spirit it will not come like automatically it will not come like oh by learning some strategy or or spending time in prayer the more you spend time in prayer the more you spend time in prayer the more you t- spend time in prayer the more the holy spirit's voice will be recognizable so this gift of faith that the holy spirit releases it's a very unique gift now let me um give an example you know in the old testament sorry exam exa- yeah in the old testament the widow of zarephath you know she was starving and she had no food and uh, she was going to die and uh, you know and then many people said to uh, you know to to the people of zarephath now you're going to die and then prophet elijah came and said give me food first and she says i'm going to eat my last meal and die and he said as surely as god lives and i live your flower will not run dry your oil will not run dry you will continue to be blessed by god 
your your you will have a miracle supply of food for your kitchen during the famine and the reason why uh, elijah said that is because he spent time in the cave with the holy spirit for days and days and days and the holy spirit said go to zarephath i have got a widow there who's going to provide for you when he met the widow she was not willing to give him first but because by faith he heard the voice of the holy spirit he said if you give me by faith this is the things going to happen in your life and exactly by faith moment he spoke it moment he spoke those words your oil will never run dry your flour will never finish until the famine finish the moment he spoke those words those words of faith the moment he spoke it even though god did not tell him god told him you know i will uh, provide for you with a widow but as he was telling the video convincing her he he spoke to her word of faith saying now see this is a impossible thing the flour and the oil will multiply supernaturally why did he say that because he had confidence that he is going to stay there with the widow god said he's going to provide for him therefore by faith he's going to provide for the widow how is it going to be provided not by money not because there was a famine not by anybody else because everybody was dying of starvation but because of the miracle working power of god that is called faith okay so faith is the ability to do the impossible so if you want to write down the definition of faith is faith is the ability to do that which is impossible okay many times uh, we think that when we want to cast out demons we have to fast and pray but uh, look at it look at it this way when G- when the, 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 uh, jesus came on the mountain and the disciples uh, in mark chapter 7 verse 24 and 30 the disciples came down uh, when jesus came on the mountain the disciples said to him uh, the people are surrounding the disciples said your disciples could not cast out this uh, epileptic spirit this deaf and dumb spirit you cannot ca- you could not cast this uh, evil spirit out uh, so jesus told the the told the uh, other people around him you evil and wicked and faithless generation and then he looked at his disciples and he says this does not come out except by fasting and pray prayer and then jesus cast out the demon but if you look at the stories at the story there's a very funny thing jesus didn't fast and pray jesus just cast it out so what was jesus trying to say oh if you want to build your faith for the impossible then you need to fast and pray many people they fast and pray to twist the hand of god many people say god i'm fasting for my wife god i'm fasting for my money god i'm fasting for my health god i'm fasting for my church god i'm fasting that is twisting god's arm no you don't fast to get anything from god you get everything from god because jesus died on the cross but faith comes when we fast and pray when we fast and pray our words start began begin to do to say things that will come to pass we begin to speak words out of our mouth and when we say it that miracle happens that impossible thing gets uh, you know um, manifested in our lives so faith is uh, is developed by fasting and prayer and spending time with the holy spirit many people think uh, i will speak some people like one of my, one of our friends is a very funny example and she said everybody have many people have faith to pray for the sick to be healed but when i pray for the sick they die <laughs> and it's a very funny example but it's a true example why is it a true example it is because we as believers need to spend more time with the holy spirit the more time we spend with the holy spirit in fasting and prayer the more our faith increases to do the impossible the more the, the fasting and prayer is not to get something from god fasting and prayer the goal is to build our faith up in the lord so that through our own mouth 
we can speak the word of faith and that word of faith can bring a miracle i'll give an example from my life okay so i was i was uh, planning to go to uh, switzerland and then uh, when i went to the swiss embassy in kathmandu the lady over there said I, she looked at me she didn't like me i don't know what she had for bre- breakfast but she said as long as i'm sitting in this chair you're not going to switzerland i was so discouraged i said why is this happening so i what i did was i i i i, pr- I came back home and i prayed and prayed why is this happening so then i went to the indian embassy to get a special letter when i went to the indian embassy a person his name was barua he was a attache something or something and he said to me what do you think we are playing games over here that any time you want a letter we'll just give it to you when you go to switzerland we are not going to give it to you then when i came home i was very sad then i did some research online i found out that uh, unless you have more than 6 months in your passport you cannot go to you cannot uh, you cannot uh, travel to any foreign country i did not know that my passport it was only one or two months it's going to expire so i quickly made a big journey quickly to calcutta and miraculously i got my passport within a couple of days uh, tatkal passport and then i came back to kathmandu and i was praying everybody in my family and everybody was saying ah i don't think so he's going to go to switzerland and i was praying and i was praying and i was praying and i was praying and i was like suddenly my faith got built up one day i saw kathmandu where we stay near the airport planes all the time flying over the overhead so when i saw the planes immediately my faith was increased you know if you look at the flame plane uh, i i used the word in jesus name i will go and i put each word on each part of the plane so the so the trunk of the tray plane i said in both the both the wings i said jesus name and then the tail wings were three i will go so every time i looked a plane flying over my flying over my head in kathmandu i just looked up into the sky and spoke in a loud voice in jesus name i will go in jesus name i will go every time i saw a plane i kept saying that till my faith level increased like really high then i went to the indian embassy again to get the letter this time when i went to get the letter from the indian indian embassy that main attache guy barua he had gone on holiday family leave and his assistant was there so i spoke to the assistant he said what do you come for I said sir I'm getting an opportunity to go to Switzerland to do my PhD can you please help me so then he said you are you're from India and now you're going from Nepal to do a PhD are very good we are very proud of Indians like you that are looking to develop yourselves and so nice and tell me what do you need from me I said I need this letter and this letter from you may convince the lady in the Swiss embassy So then I took the I spoke to him and he said we are very proud of you you are one of the very uh, good indians you are going to the next level and we want to support you i will give you the letter and he wrote the letter got it printed out and he gave it to me and i came back home i showed my wife she said are but where that person said he will not give you i said yeah the person who said he will not give you god removed him and took him on holiday so that his assistant god will speak to his heart to give it to me because my faith was not uh, up to that level at that time so then i came back i took the letter i went to the swiss embassy that lady in the swiss embassy she looked at me she saw the letter she took my passport and as if she did not recognize me like my face had changed into the face of another person before she was giving me so much up to my face as long as i am here as long as i sit in this place you are not going to switzerland and then i went and i gave her the letter i gave her the passport she just looked at me she stamped everything and she said welcome to switzerland 
I almost fell down from the chair over there. But that is the power of faith. When you build your faith up, when you want a certain miracle, you want a certain sign, a wonder, you want something impossible to happen in your life, you pray, you spend time with the Holy Spirit, you pray, you pray, you fast, you build yourself up. And then when the Holy Spirit tells you what to say, keep speaking that life out into the atmosphere. You know, Jesus, when he saw the fig tree, what did he do to the fig tree? He cursed it. And what happened to the fig tree? It died. Where did the faith originate from? In his mouth. You know, so your mouth is either the tool or the mouthpiece of Satan or you, or just a, you, you, your humanity or your mouth is the mouthpiece of God himself. So when you build yourself up and pray, and pray and pray and keep on praying then god will build you build you up in that area of faith now another thing happened in our lives and i want to share this um, my uh, my 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 son um, before i got married to my wife uh, i i told my before i got married to her, i said when we get married we're going to have a son and his name is going to be Saran. And I told her about that and I forgot about it. And so then when we came to Nepal, uh, the first years of our time in Nepal, uh, 21 years ago, my wife got pregnant. And then I was teaching in a school. And so she had to go to the hospital to do a, a checkup. And when she did a checkup, they told her the sex of the baby. So when she came in, she came back home. And uh, I said, uh, so you went, you did a checkup. What was the result? And the result that came, she said, you already prophesied it. 21 years ago, when we were in Pune, you are the one who said, we'll have a, uh, we'll have a child and the first child will be a son and his name will be Saran. So true enough, I'm pregnant with a son. So I was very happy. You know, my son was born because I prophesied. I spoke the word of faith and exactly that's what happened. Now, uh, 14 years ago, I went to Varanasi to teach in a YWAM school. Uh, the name of the school is called School of Apostolic Pioneering. And on my way back from that school, um, God spoke to me in the airplane. Just I was going, as I was going to go in the, into the toilet, uh, just as I was standing at the toilet door, as soon as uh, the other person came out and it was my turn to go to the toilet door, as soon as I opened the toilet door, God said, I am going to give you grace in your life. So I said, oh, grace, I need your grace. No, 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 God said, I'm going to give you a daughter. Her name is going to be Grace. In Nepali, uh, Grace is called Anugra. I'm going to give you Anugra in your life. You're going to get grace in your life. And I said, oh, thank you, Lord. Then I came back to Nepal uh, by plane journey and I told my wife, oh, Ani, this is what God spoke to me in the plane, that we're going to have a daughter now. Now we, are, we had four sons, now we're going to have one daughter. And she looked at me and she said, God did not tell me. God told you to have a daughter, but God did not tell me. So for seven years, she was like, no, I'm not interested. Four sons are enough. Four sons are enough. I'm not interested. At the after seven years, long years of me continuing proclaiming, I will have grace in my life. I will have anugra in my life. Seven years of non-stop, not forgetting, but continuously proclaiming that I, by faith I'll have a daughter. Her name will be anugra. Her name will be grace. After seven years, one day my wife came and said to me, uh, I I think I'm ready to uh, try for a girl. But what happens if it's a boy? I said 100% guarantee that it will never be a boy. It will be a girl because that is the faith. God gave me the word and I am proclaiming that word of faith every day. God said it, that settles it. And so then I was praying, 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 praying. And then uh, one week passed, two weeks passed, three weeks passed. More than a month passed. She is not getting pregnant. I said, what happened, honey? She said, I also don't know. So one day she was praying and she uh, had a vision that from her chest all the way down to, her, to, the, to the ground, she, she had like a green kind of moss. You know the, 
when we have a your tap open in the garden and the water is leaking over there then the green moss comes on the on the ground on the cement you know it's like a it's like not not really healthy you can slip and fall in that so she saw that from her chest all the way down the moment i saw that i knew that the enemy was trying to stop her from getting a baby stop me from getting uh, my what faith by faith god had told me to proclaim for seven long years so we called one brother and sister who was very uh, very good in praying and breaking strongholds uh, they came to our house and we served them good food and then we told them actually this is what happened and they said oh okay let's pray and they prayed and they broke the stronghold over my wife and the moment they prayed and broke the stronghold over my wife then immediately uh, the that, that person's wife she saw a picture of a small girl like a ballerina dancing away like she had ballerina clothes on and she was dancing and uh, she told my wife don't worry i already saw your daughter in heaven now in a matter of time your daughter will be born in your stomach i already seen her she's a ballerina who dances in heaven and true enough after a few months my wife was pregnant and then she gave birth and anugra my daughter was born and then we brought her home and she was a few months at home and the first time we put on uh, uh, mu- uh, music by the loudspeakers you know from the tv she put her hand up like this even though she was so small and she was still drinking mother's milk and like couldn't walk couldn't crawl she put her hand up like this and she started dancing just automatically her hand was going like this and we quickly took a video of her true enough the ballerina was born in our family so faith is doing the impossible but how do you do the impossible you have to fast and pray if you if you feel like your flesh is still trying to trouble you by telling you all sorts of things in your mind then the way to stop the mind and to let the faith increase is by increasing your fasting increasing your prayer life and then when you increase your prayer life and it comes to a certain level and you and you feel like i'm really strong in the lord that's the time when god will give you a word of faith you proclaim that and that will happen because god created the world by his words and our words also can be words of doubt or words of faith so if we speak the words of faith god will do a miracle but first we have to build our faith and then speak the words of faith